Welcome back, everybody. So this lady right here, she's tackling urban legends. She's teaching science and now busting environmental myths. She wants to set the record straight on things like recycling and creating a Netflix for learning where kids can learn about the environment. And we have her on our show this morning, Mythbuster and Crash Test World host Carrie Byron. Good morning to you, Carrie. Good morning. I'm I, so excited to be here. I'm so glad you're on the show with us. And, uh, you know, I, I like your friend that's right next to you, a little skeleton joining you. <laughs> okay. That's George. That's George. <laughs> Hi, George. <laughs> so, Carrie, we have a lot to get to because uh, you have a lot going on. So during quarantine, you've been hosting Crash Test World, and then you launched this Kickstarter, and it actually wraps up today. So we want to let our viewers know all about that first. Uh, what is this for? What are you hoping to launch? Well, Crash Test World was my show. Um, unfortunately, it was a travel show where we conquer big questions about the world. So during pandemic, I became more and more involved with taking a streaming platform to market. So um, it is highly composed edutainment content, like um, small shows that each come with a lesson plan for parents and teachers. Yesterday, we launched the home version, which is just all these beautiful, beautiful videos. And uh, it started streaming yesterday, which is very exciting. And we launched a Kickstarter to get all of the lesson plans created for the school version so that, you know, you can have a subscription to any kind of topic you can think of, and it all aligns with curriculum standards. So anything from, you know, math to science to history to sex ed to home economics, there's going to be a really, really cool video there. And we have licensed some of the most amazing video content. That's awesome. And I think for, you know, a lot of kids, they are interested in what's happening around our world. Uh, on the video of that Kickstarter, Carrie, you mentioned, you know, it's like a Netflix for learning. It's what Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers did for us when we were kids, uh, but now you're taking on a lot of these eco myths, things like that. So tell us a little bit more, you know, why this is so important that you get this out there. Well, this was really important to me because I spent a lot of time traveling and I want to create a global citizenry of kids that are empathetic and have dignity and have representation on the people that they see on their screens because all the kids are constantly looking at TikTok. They are learning from their screens. So we want to give them really high quality educational content. And as always being a critical thinker, I also decided to partner up with Varsity Tutors. And today I'm going to do a free lesson on recycling. Oh. Um, on Crest Chest World, we went to recycling plant, which was my favorite day, which <laughs> sounds crazy to most people, but I really get into the nitty gritty of all the engineering and I loved going to the recycling plant. <laughs> and I learned so much and I just want to share it with all the kids that take the lesson. You know, Carrie, we have a lot in common with this one because yeah, we have a recycling plant right next to us here at the station and you learn a lot what is, you know, can and cannot be recycled. So let's, you know, share that with our viewers this morning. What are some of the myths about recycling? You know, we've covered this a few times on our air during these Earth 8 segments that we do. Uh, what have you found out that people need to know? Okay, recycling is great. I mean, plastic right. is an awesome thing. Plastic is in everything all around us. And we're not going to stop using plastic because it's so cool. We can recycle it, but not all of it's recyclable as we think. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, uh, did you know that we throw away 80 pounds of clothes? Each American on average throws away 80 pounds of clothes a year. That calculates out to 15 million tons of clothes just going in a landfill. So for me, this comes from a thrift store. Um, these earrings right here, these were made from recycled skateboards from somebody yeah. I found on Instagram called <laughs> Maple XO. Uh, I, this secondhand right here. I believe in clothing swaps, hand-me-downs, thrift stores, just for clothing. All these recyclables, look, I replaced it with this. I saved so much by not using those bottles. And coffee cups. Yeah. All of those coffee cups. There are 25 billion coffee cups going into the waste because they're not recyclable and everybody thinks they are. There's a plastic lining on the inside attached mm -hmm. to the outside, which is paper. And I think people see the recycle symbol and just assume, oh, this is recyclable. Nope. 
it was made from recyclable materials. Yeah, I, that's what we learned. A lot of the, you know, logos and the triangles that you'll see on certain products. That's just, you know, companies trying to look like they are recyclable, but they are not. So, uh, you know, we do have to keep that in mind. I'm glad you're sharing that. And kids need to learn this, of course. Uh, so, Carrie, while we wait for your project, this kickstarted go through, uh, what do you suggest, you know, parents and kids do throughout this summer? I mean, this summer, I think it's a really interesting project if you want to see how much plastic you actually can consume in a week and just hold it all there in a bag just so you can see what the, where there is and then see if you can reduce that. Mm -hmm. See if maybe when you go buy your vegetables, you don't buy them in the pre-packaged packaging. Maybe you just buy them free and cut them up yourself and wash them yourself. <laughs> then you can save on all of the plastic, like those salad containers, which aren't actually recyclable. Or, I mean... This was a Coke can, now it's an, or sorry, a Coke uh, bottle. Now it's an herb garden. Oh. I also just make crafts because I am a single mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. Fun things to do with your kids, growing plants and all. Carrie, I love this. Uh, where can people go real quick before we have to go to, uh, you know, take part in this if they want to support what you're up to? Okay, first, you can sign up for a Varsity Tutors class. It is absolutely free. <laughs> Also, I have a Kickstarter ending in 24 hours. It's the last chance to get on some really cool perks, like Andrew Zimmern from What's Eating America is cooking lunch for people. I'm doing classroom visits. There's really, really cool perks. Go to my Kickstarter. It's in all of my social media. And of course, go check out Explore, E-X-P-L-R-Home.com, and you can see my most proud project ever. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Carrie. We'll be right back after this break. Thank you.